Hey guys, Dr. Mike here. I'm gonna show you some great exercises for your lower body or lower uh, back and your core, your hips and glutes, okay? Um, many people, we need to strengthen these and make sure that they are in good condition. That's gonna relieve a lot of tension and stress off your lower, uh, off your lower back and off your, off, your, uh, off your nerve system. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is what we call a, um, is a dead bug, okay? It's a funny name, it's a dead bug. Basically what this is, you can get on your back like this. Both legs come up in a parallel position. All right. Your chin should be tucked up. All right. If this is really difficult with your chin like this, you could, of course, let your chin down. All right. Your arms should be up. And then basically it's a cross pattern. Left leg down, right arm down. And back. And then I like to do you cross them up. All right. Of course... Um, you could do same side as well. And the key is you just want to go nice and easy, nice and controlled. And then again, really, once you get good at it, your, your chin should be off. That's called a dead bug. Okay, really easy. I would do uh, 15, 20 reps of that, a few sets of that. All right. This one is another just cross crawl pattern. Um, I don't remember the specific name, but basically it's you're on all fours like this. Spine is neutral. And what you're gonna do now is bring this leg up and extend. You wanna squeeze your butt, squeeze your glute, and this arm out. Bring it back down. And the whole time you wanna focus right here on your core. You wanna bring this leg back, squeeze the glute, reach forward, bring it back. And same thing, you can do this. I like doing this one as a warm up. But you gotta stay, you gotta think about the muscles you're engaging the glute, the core, and then as you're reaching the obliques as well. That's a good one there. All right, another one you could do, you can do a, uh, there's so many variations of planks. I don't like to do planks with my arms out like this because it puts a lot of stress on the wrists. What I like to do is a plank on my elbows. So you can get in this position. And the key is to keep your back flat and straight. And you can hold this for as long as you can. Really, ideally, you want to hold it for 30 seconds up to a minute. Um, and that's a, and the whole time, you want to focus right here on your core. Okay? Uh, one you could do, drop down. And you can do this on a couch, a bed, the floor. This is for your, your glutes here, the legs. And you're basically gonna just lift up and squeeze your glute, your butt. And you're gonna do both sides. And I would squeeze that for five seconds or so, three to five seconds. And you can do it just like that, pretty simple. Another one, you're gonna roll on your side. Bottom leg, I like to, uh, I like to bend a little bit for stability. This leg you're gonna straighten and you're just gonna lift it up. You don't wanna lift it way up here you want to lift it about here where there's the most resistance. Let it down, not to the floor, right above the floor, and lift. You can hold that for a couple seconds when you lift. Nice and slow. Notice everything is controlled. You don't want to do it too fast because you're just using momentum. Nice and easy. This is working the outer hip muscles right here. Okay, let me see. This next one's called a glute bridge. Really simple, you get back on your back. You're gonna sit in this position, and all you're simply gonna do is bring your hips up, and now you're gonna squeeze the glutes. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, hold for three to five seconds, and drop down. You're gonna do that 10, 15 times. The nice thing about core, there's literally virtually endless exercises for the core. Um, that's some basic ones to get you started. And again, if you want to learn more, you have the World Wide Web at your fingertips. The app I love to use is the Peloton app. There's probably five, 600 classes out there that you can take uh, anywhere from five to 20 minutes um, where you can learn just tons of exercises for your core. Most of them require no weights, no equipment. Do it right on the floor. Um, I personally strive to do three 10 minute core workouts a week. So I'll space them out throughout the week um, that way I know I'm taking precedence on keeping the core strong and healthy 
and uh, and part of my regular routine.